Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. My name is Carolyn Ketchell. I'm the chair, chairman of the Okaloosa County Board of County Commissioners. I just removed my mask. We are socially distant. And uh, I wanted to give you some updates. We're really excited about unfolding uh, things with vaccines because vaccines are part of the way that we're getting out of this mess with this COVID. Uh, I really believe in vaccines. I have now had my vaccine. As, as many of you who tuned in a couple of weeks here knew that I did not have it, now I've had it, and I'm waiting for my second one. I had no reaction, it was great. I highly recommend that you try to get your vaccine, and that's what we're here to talk about, because we know there's been a lot of frustration, but Patrick Maddox is the man with the answers. Now, to this date, how many have we vaccinated in Okaloosa County? Over 10,000. 10,000. Um, by the way, Patrick Maddox is our public safety director, in case you haven't seen the other videos, and he is doing a fabulous job. And again, the county does not set up vaccines, but we're trying to get the information out to you. So there's been some changes in the protocol, not because we have a new president, but because President DeSantis changed things up a bit. So do you want to talk about that? Sure. So Governor DeSantis has done uh, a few things differently uh, recently, which has changed the what the optics will be for the citizen and how vaccines are received and who they interact with. Uh, right now, um, uh, during one of, the, one of the most recent press conferences that the governor had, he actually held one here in Niceville at, at our, one of our public's locations on John Sims Parkway recently, and he spoke about the partnership between the state of Florida and uh, Publix, whereas Publix would become a force multiplier and would be uh, giving vaccines, and we have seven Publixes around Okaloosa County, which would be giving a certain number of vaccines per day. Uh, what has changed recently is that the number of vaccines that are allocated to the county, um, Publix will get their number of vaccines off the top of that number. So what that means is that there will be some more vaccine being transferred to Publix and a little bit less vaccine at the county health department. So not less for the county, just allocated differently. So what that does is it allows the widely dispersed Publix locations throughout the county to deliver that vaccine to the public and we will still be able to do vaccine pods at the county health departments, although there may be fewer of them. So uh, from what I'm understanding at the moment, the county uh, health departments will still receive between 900 and 1,000 uh, vaccine doses per week, which would allow um, one or two large pods uh, to be done per week. And the remainder of the vaccines per week would be handled by the various public locations. So we're very excited about this. And let me just say that I understand your pain trying to get on these sites, okay? I have helped a number of senior citizens and you know, you, you get on, you get on, you get on, you get kicked out. I hear your frustration, but just keep trying. Now Publix has a situation where I think it starts January 27th, is that right? You get on like 10 minutes of five or five minutes of five, or how does that work? So the way that that works now is Publix has their own registration portal. It is not the same portal that you would go to on the county website to register for the Department of Health's uh, vaccination pods. You would go onto the Publix registration portal and we can put that uh, link on the screen for you. And uh, that time is six o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Central that the registration portal will open on the 27th, this coming Wednesday, uh, for the upcoming bank of pods that they will have available. So we know that um, vaccination is one way that people are gonna get through this. Uh, we also know that if you've had COVID, that confers some immunity, we don't know how long. But if you've already had your vaccine and you've got a senior citizen that you know, somebody over 65, try to help them, try to help them get on one of the various sites, either the health department, DOH, or Publix, or anything else that we can suggest at this time? Um, I know that uh, Dr. Anastasio was still being transferred some doses of vaccine, so his website, which we can also put up on the link. Is the Emerald Coast Infectious Disease Clinic on Marwalt. Yes. But, and you go on there, I do know about that one, you fill out the application, and then in several days, they will text or call you to give you an appointment time. So, but I know last week he ran out of vaccine, so I guess he's getting additional we would hope that's the case, uh, and that relationship is maintained between the Department of Health and Dr. Anastasio. So if they have enough vaccine to transfer based on their allocation, then that will continue. Our president has vowed to vaccinate, what is it, 100? Does anybody know? 100, I don't remember the numbers. 100 million in 100 days or something. So we expect to be getting plenty of vaccine here. So please don't panic if you can't get through. But if you have a lot of issues, Try to get somebody that you know is tech savvy, a younger person, somebody that might know how to use your computer. 
that would probably be the easiest thing. I have tried to help many senior citizens. Patrick knows that. Certainly. I've been on the uh, computer a good bit with it. So try to get somebody that knows how to do it, that can help you work through the process. Please don't panic and don't get frustrated and don't send me an angry email. I've gotten those too. There's nothing I can do. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm trying to help people access the website. Is there anything else you want to share about it? So far we've had very good results. It's been extremely organized. Uh, we haven't had any reactions to speak of from the first vaccine? Uh, not that I've heard of for, uh, for anything in the pods that we've been monitoring, and we're hoping that that continues not only with dose two, but with the continuation of dose one. Yes. Um, and with the uh, advent of talking about the pods for publics, we also still have, of course, the pods at the County Health Department, which um, the press release went out that we have one coming up Wednesday, the 27th, for 280 appointments and Thursday the 28th for 960 appointments. And that registration will be open at noon on Monday, January 25th, both online and scheduling over the phone for the Department of Health. So Monday at noon, you can go ahead and, and register there. And Publix at 5 a.m., you have to get up bright and early, but that's okay. Many seniors are up that early if you know how to use your computer. <laughs> so. Anything else we want to share during this time? We just wanted to give a quick update. Sure, we just uh, we ask for everybody's patience. Uh, we understand that the process can be frustrating, but I've mentioned before that the scope of this program is enormous and, and larger yes. than most folks realize. So uh, I've mentioned before that we have roughly 217,000 folks in Okaloosa County, about 16.3% of those are 65 and older, which fall into the category under the executive order of the targeted population that can be vaccinated at this time. That translates to about 35,000 people. So probably better than 50% of those folks actually want the vaccine. And that's more than 17,000 people trying to get in at once. So we understand that there's limited supply at the moment and, and that supply we hope to get bigger. We understand that there's limited phone lines, but the Department of Health has a robust call center. They have more than 30 folks dedicated to answering those phones. And in addition, we have the online portals that we've opened up. So we've heard your pleas for a better registration system. We have expanded that registration system and we are on the cusp of waiting for the rollout of the state share care registration system which we should see before mid-February.